Hello everybody! Welcome back once again to Tips and Tricks for Dot Tools. This is Michael Quincy Strutman again and today we want to talk about selection orders in groups. For some of you this is totally boring because you already know, but this is one of the most done mistakes from beginners, so let's have a look. What I've got here is a show with eight spots in there. In the setup, I can see I've given them the fixture IDs, one through eight. So this is the most important. Be sure what is your number one through eight. The fixture ID is a number that the console uses. For example, when you say, I want to store a group. It's easier when you I used to use a command line, fixture 1 through 8, please. 1 through 8. If I store this as a group, store group 1, and let's call it all spots. 1 through 8. Everything is easy. If I call this group, I can see all of my lights are selected. But like I said, if you use a command line, it's very clear, clear, one through eight. If you do it like this and you maybe miss one, ah, this one and this one, and then you store it, you will find out the console recognize the order of your selection when you store a group. How can you check that? All spots one through eight, use the next button. One through eight, wonderful. If I do the same in this group, it all works, but there I've done a little mistake. These mistakes you can see later on. Of course, you can see that in your 3D. My lights are, are there. I say highlight. And I, of course, should call a group. Where's my group? All of them. The group is called, so all of them light up. I'm in highlight. When I check with next now, one through eight, wonderful. Where else can you check your order that you have stored in groups? One through eight. With the next button and of course with a line. So let me call this group again. This one full open please and we have a look at the position. Bring them up a little bit to the front and now I align them around the middle. Align them around the middle pan wise gives you this, gives you this, looks all good. How does it look? I clear this. How does it look if you do the selection like this? All to full. You can't see that you've done a specific order mistake in here or something. Let's call the position to here and do again an align on par. You see what happens. It can't align it right from 1 through 8 because I've done a little bit of chaotic. Chaotic can be nice, but this is just about please make sure that if you store groups and you should store groups, that you remember that the selection order will be stored as well. When I say, oh, where have we had this? We had this, or oh, we can check this with next. We can check it with a line. Uh, this is also relevant for effects, for example. I've selected all of my lights and say I want a dimmer effect. The soft dimmer. This looks good now. It's a sinus from one through eight. If you do your strange a little bit chaotic because you don't know selections and do this. Of course, this will look straight different. Like I said, chaos can be good. If you've done a correct order, and for example, in this effect, you can see we have a shuffle selection. So you can be chaotic in the end, but when you store your groups, please make sure you know exactly what you're doing and remember the order and easily to be checked with next. Well, that's it for today. Just for you to keep it in, in your mind. Please remember when you store groups, see your selection order. That's it for today, folks. And I wish you a good time and happy programming. Cheers, bye, it's Michael.